Okay, in this part of the series I'm going to talk about the bevel modifier. The bevel modifier is a modifier that I don't really like. I hardly ever use it and the main reason is because it um, interferes a lot with the UV texturing. Uh, there used to be a button in the W where you could bevel from the um, from the W manage, uh, menu, but I guess that one's gone and I didn't find it in here as well. Um, of course the bevel modifier for, makes everything seem more realistic, but if you do need to use it I strongly recommend you to apply it before you do any texturing. So uh, that said, let's um, see how the bevel modifier actually destroys your uh, UV and for that I have created, actually let me turn that off again um, properties here and I'll just shut off the eye and uh, I have this um, texture, you can find it under free stuff on my site and if I press on U in edit mode and say cube projection you can see that it's actually projecting a cube not perfectly but still it works most of the time and um, you can see that it unwraps properly if you turn to textured view down here if I now turn on the bevel modifier you can see it screws up the the edges of the cube very badly and uh, if I s click only vertices it's uh, somewhat even worse, like over here. And the reason for that is that it is creating triangles which are not properly unwrapped. And since it sort of creates them on the fly after the unwrapping has taken place, that means it will totally mess with your faces. So if you're using a textured object, make sure you apply the battlefield modifier before you UV unwrap it that uh, will probably work a lot better. But uh, enough about the downside, let's talk about the upside of this. First of all, you can limit the width of the bevel. I guess this is pretty self-explanatory, it's the width of this um, little edge that gets created over here. And then there is the next option, which is the ankle. Ankle means that you can, uh, let me just delete this cube, uh, shift C, add mesh, and uh, oh, actually let's use another cube and uh, just loop cut it and uh, extrude this so we get a couple of different, a uh, couple of different ankles to work with. Okay, let's get this ankle out. Okay, now we have a couple of different ankle degrees and if I add the bevel modifier again you can see that I got a problem over here and uh, probably this wouldn't uh, be what you want either so um, just merge these uh, if I go to ankle and I then I can set the minimum ankle a face needs to, uh, an edge needs to have in order to get bevel if I increase that, you will see that the um, bevel will bevel uh, well, stages or something. They will disappear. And if I set the angle to 180 degree, of course, all of them will dis disappear. So it's a matter of just toying around with that until you find a method useful. A lot of the times, I will crank this up. Well, if I do actually use it, I did crank it up to about 80 because other edges don't really need to be beveled. Next option is the weight. It used to use fine in Blender 2.5, uh, 2.49. If you went to um, edit mode and you select fa um, sorry, edges, then you could press Control Shift E and then drag your mouse and you can watch your bevel decrease or increase. But according to the Blender wiki, this feature has not been brought back yet, so it's still under development and I can't really tell you how it's going to work. Um, last option, only vertices. For that I'm going to make a cube again because it's easiest to demonstrate. If I check only vertices, you can see that only the vertice edges get beveled, which is actually looking quite nice, but I checked and that also destroys your UV unwrapping. So if you want to use that, make sure you use it, apply, 
and then UV unwrap the thing. Alright, so that's it for the bevel modifier, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.